Section 10 of Dramatized Bible Passages from the Old Testament. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. The Story of Gideon from Judges chapters 6 to 8, King James Version. Narrated by David Allen. Prophet. Read by Sonia. Angel. Read by Florian Wenyel. The Lord. Read by David Olson. Gideon. Read by Gideon Snow. Men of the City, read by Catherine. Joash, read by Thomas Peter. Midianite One, read by Lydia. Second Midianite, read by Esther Menzimonides. Men of Ephraim, Succoth, and Israel, read by Marianne. Zeba and Zalmanna, read by Beth Thomas. And the children of Israel did evil in the sight of the Lord, and the Lord delivered them into the hand of Midian seven years. And the hand of Midian prevailed against Israel. And because of the Midianites, the children of Israel made them the dens, which are in the mountains, and caves, and strongholds. And so it was, when Israel had sown, that the Midianites came up, and the Amalekites, and the children of the east, even they came up against them. And they encamped against them, and destroyed the increase of the earth, till thou come unto Gaza, and left no substance for Israel, neither sheep, nor ox, nor ass for they came up with their cattle and their tents and they came as grasshoppers for multitude for both they and their camels were without number and they entered into the land to destroy it and israel was greatly impoverished because of the midianites and the children of israel cried unto the lord and it came to pass when the children of israel cried unto the lord because of the midianites that the lord sent a prophet unto the children of israel which said unto them thus saith the lord god of israel i brought you up from egypt and i brought you forth out of the house of bondage and i delivered you out of the hand of the egyptians and out of the hand of all that oppressed you and drave them out from before you and gave you their land and i said unto you i am the lord your god fear not the gods of the amorites in whose land ye dwell but ye have not obeyed my voice and there came an angel of the Lord, and sat under an oak, which was an Ophrah, that pertained unto Joash the Abizarite, and his son Gideon threshed wheat by the winepress, to hide it from the Midianites. And the angel of the Lord appeared unto him, and said unto him, The Lord is with thee, thy mighty man of valor. And Gideon said unto him, O oh my Lord, if the Lord be with us, why then is all this befallen us? And where be all his miracles? which our fathers told us of, saying, Did not the Lord bring us out from Egypt? But now the Lord hath forsaken us, and delivered us into the hands of the Midianites. And the Lord looked upon him and said, Go in this thy might, and thou shalt save Israel from the hand of the Midianites. Have not I sent thee? And he said unto him, O my Lord, wherewith shall I save Israel? Behold, my family is poor, in Manasseh, and I am the least in my father's house. And the Lord said unto him, Surely I will be with thee, and thou shalt smite the Midianites as one man. And he said unto him, If now I have found grace in thy sight, then show me a sign that thou talkest with me. Depart not hence, I pray thee, until I come unto thee, and bring forth my present, and set it before thee. And he said, I will tarry until thou come again. And Gideon went in, and made ready a kid, and unleavened cakes of an ephah of flour. The flesh he put in a basket, and he put the broth in a pot, and brought it out unto him under the oak, and presented it. And the angel of God said unto him, Take the flesh and the unleavened cakes, and lay them upon this rock, and pour out the broth. And he did so. Then the angel of the Lord put forth the end of the staff that was in his hand, and touched the flesh and the unleavened cakes. And there rose up fire out of the rock, and consumed the flesh and the unleavened cakes. Then the angel of the Lord departed out of his sight. And when Gideon perceived that he was an angel of the Lord, Gideon said, Alas, O Lord God, for because I have seen an angel of the Lord face to face. And the Lord said unto him, Peace be unto thee, fear not. Peace be unto thee, Fear not, thou shalt not die. Then Gideon built there an altar unto the Lord, and called it Jehovah Shalom. Unto this day it is yet in Ophrah of the Abizarites. And it came to pass the same night that the Lord said unto him, 
take thy father's young bullock even the second bullock of seven years old and throw down the altar of baal that thy father hath and cut down the grove that is by it and build an altar unto the lord thy god upon the top of this rock in the ordered place and take the second bullock and offer a burnt sacrifice with the wood of the grove which thou shalt cut down then gideon took ten men of his servants and did as the lord had said unto him and so it was because he feared his father's household and the men of the city that he could not do it by day that he did it by night and when the men of the city arose early in the morning behold the altar of baal was cast down and the grove was cut down that was by it and the second bullock was offered upon the altar that was built and they said one to another who hath done this thing and when they inquired and asked they said gideon the son of joash hath done this gideon the son of joash hath done this thing then the men of the city said unto joash bring out thy son that he may die because he hath cast down the altar of baal and because he hath cut down the grove that was by it and joash said unto all that stood against him will ye plead for baal will ye save him he that will plead for him let him be put to death whilst it is yet morning if he be a god let him plead for himself because one hath cast down his altar therefore on that day he called him jerubbaal saying let baal plead against him because he hath thrown down his altar then all the midianites and the amalekites and the children of the east were gathered together and went over and pitched in the valley of jezreel but the spirit of the lord came upon gideon and he blew a trumpet and abizer was gathered after him and he sent messengers throughout all manasseh who also was gathered after him and he sent messengers unto asher and unto zebulun and unto naphtali and they came up to meet them and gideon said unto god if thou wilt save israel by mine hand as thou hast said behold i will put a fleece of wool in the floor and if the dew be on the fleece only and it be dry upon all the earth beside then shall i know that thou wilt save israel by my hand as thou hast said and it was so for he rose up early on the morrow and thrust the fleece together and wringed the dew out of the fleece a bowl full of water and gideon said unto god let not thine anger be hot against me and i will speak but this once let me prove i pray thee but this once with the fleece let it now be dry only upon the fleece and upon all the ground let there be dew and god did so that night for it was dry upon the fleece only and there was dew on all the ground then jerubbaal who is gideon and all the people that were with him rose up early and pitched beside the wall of herod so that the host of the midianites were on the north side of them by the hill of moreth in the valley and the lord said unto gideon the people that are with thee are too many for me to give the midianites into their hands lest israel vaunt themselves against me saying my own hand hath saved me now therefore go to proclaim in the ears of the people saying whoever is fearful and afraid let him return and depart early from mount gilead and there returned of the people twenty and two thousand and there remained ten thousand and the lord said unto gideon the people are yet too many bring them down unto the water and i will try them for thee and it shall be that of whom i say unto thee this shall go with thee the same shall go with thee and of whomsoever i say unto thee this shall not go with thee the same shall not go so he brought down the people unto the water and the lord said unto gideon every one that lappeth of the water with his tongue as a dog lappeth him shalt thou set by himself likewise every one that boweth down upon his knees to drink and the number of them that lapped putting their hand to their mouth were three hundred men but the rest of the people bowed down upon their knees to drink water and the lord said unto gideon by the three hundred men that lapped will i save you and deliver the midianites into thine hand and let all the other people go every man unto his place 
so the people took victuals in their hand and their trumpets and he sent all the rest of israel every man into his tent and retained those three hundred men and the host of midian was beneath him in the valley and it came to pass the same night that the lord said unto him arise get thee down unto the host for i have delivered it into thine hand but if thou fear to go down go thou with pura thy servant down to the host and thou shalt hear what they say and afterwards shall thy hands be strengthened to go down unto thy host then went he down with pura his servant unto the outside of the armed men that were in the host and the midianites and the amalekites and all the children of the east lay along the valley like grasshoppers for a multitude and their camels were without number as the sand by the sea for multitude and when gideon was come behold there was a man that told a dream unto his fellow and said behold i dreamed a dream and lo a cake of barley bread tumbled into the host of midian and came unto a tent and smote it that it fell and overturned it that the tent lay alone and his fellow answered and said this is nothing else save the sword of gideon the son of joash a man of israel for into his hand hath god delivered midian and all the host and it was so when gideon heard the telling of the dream and the interpretation thereof that he worshipped and returned unto the host of israel and said alas for the lord hath delivered into your hand the host of midian and he divided the three hundred men into three companies and he put a trumpet in every man's hand with empty pitchers and lamps within the pitchers and he said unto them look on me and do likewise and behold when i come to the outside of the camp it shall be that as i do so shall ye do when i blow with a trumpet i and all that are with me then blow ye trumpets also on every side of all the camp and say the sword of the lord and for gideon so gideon and the hundred men that were with him came unto the outside of the camp in the beginning of the middle watch they had but newly set the watch and they blew the trumpets and break the pitchers that were in their hands and the three companies blew the trumpets and break the pitchers and held the lamps in their left hands and the trumpets in their right hands to blow withal and they cried the sword of the lord and of gideon and they stood every man in his place around about the camp and all the host ran and cried and fled and the three hundred blew the trumpets and the lord set every man's sword against his fellow even throughout all the host and the host fled to beth shittah in zerath and to the border of abel mahola unto tabith and the men of israel gathered themselves together out of naphtali and out of asher and out of all manasseh and pursued after the midianites and gideon sent messengers throughout all mount ephraim saying come down against the midianites and take before them the waters unto beth bara and jordan then all the men of ephraim gathered themselves together and took the waters into beth bara and jordan they took the two princes of the midianites oreb and zeb and they slew oreb upon the rock oreb and zeb they slew at the winepress of zeb and pursued midian and brought the heads of oreb and zeb to gideon on the other side jordan and the men of ephraim said unto him why hast thou served us thus that thou callest us not when thou wentest to fight with the midianites and they did chide with him sharply and he said unto them what have i done now in comparison for you is not the gleaning of the grapes of ephraim better than the vintage of abizar god hath delivered into your hands princes of midian oreb and zeb and what was i able to do in comparison of you then their anger was abated toward him when he had said that and gideon came to jordan and passed over he and the three hundred men that were with him faint yet pursuing them and he said unto the men of succoth give i pray you loaves of bread unto the people that follow me for they be faint and i am pursuing after zeba and zalmanah kings of midian and the princes of succoth said are the hands of zeba and zalmuna now in thine hand that we should give bread unto thine army and gideon said therefore when the lord hath delivered zeba and zalmian into mine hand then i will tear your flesh with thorns of the wilderness and with bars and he went up thence to penuel and spake unto them likewise and the men of penuel answered him as the men of succoth had answered him and he spake also unto the men of penuel saying when i come again in peace i will break down this tower now Zeba and Zalmunna were in Karkor, and the host with them, about fifteen thousand men, all that were left, 
of all the hosts of the children of the east for there fell an hundred and twenty thousand men that drew sword and gideon went up by the way of them that dwelt in tents on the east of noba and jogbeha and smote the host for the host was secure and when zeba and zalmunna fled he pursued after them and took the two kings of midian zeba and zalmunna and discomfited all the host and gideon the son of joash returned from battle before the sun was up and caught a young man of the men of succoth and inquired of him and he described unto him the princes of succoth and the elders thereof even threescore and seventeen men and he came unto the men of succoth and said behold zeba and zalmian with whom you did ablade me saying are the hands of zeba and zalmania now in thine hand that we should give bread unto thine men that we are weary and he took the elders of the city and thorns of the wilderness and briars and with him he taught them to suck and he beat down the tower of penuel and slew the men of the city then said he unto zeba and zalmunna what manner of men were there whom we slew in tabor and they answered as thou art so were they each one resembled the children of a king and he said they were my brethren even the sons of my mother as the lord liveth let ye be saved if ye had saved them alive i would not slay you and he said unto jethro his firstborn up and slay them but the youth drew not his sword for he feared because he was yet a youth then zeb and zalmunna said rise thou and fall upon us for as the man is so is his strength and Gideon arose and slew Zeba and Zalmunna and took away the ornaments that were on their camels' necks. Then the men of Israel said unto Gideon, Rule thou over us, both thou and thy son, and thy son's son also, for thou hast delivered us from the hand of Midian. And Gideon said unto them, I will not rule over you, neither shall my son rule over you, the Lord shall rule over you. And Gideon said unto them, I would desire a request of you, that ye would give me every man the earrings of his prey. For they had golden earrings, because they were Ishmaelites. And they answered, We will willingly give them. And they spread a garment, and did cast therein every man the earrings of his prey. And the weight of the golden earrings that he requested was a thousand and seven hundred shekels of gold, beside ornaments and collars and purple raiment that was on the kings of Midian, and beside the chains that were about their camels' necks. And Gideon made an ephod thereof, and put it in his city, even in Ophrah. And all Israel went thither a whoring after it, which thing became a snare unto Gideon and to his house. Thus was Midian subdued before the children of Israel, so that they lifted up their their heads no more and the country was in quietness forty years in the days of gideon and jerubbaal the son of joash went and dwelt in his own house and gideon had threescore and ten sons of his body begotten for he had many wives and his concubine that was in shechem she also bare him a son whose name he called abimelech and gideon the son of joash died in a good old age and was buried in the sepulchre of joash's father in oprah of the abizarites and it came to pass as soon as gideon was dead that the children of israel turned again and went a whoring after balaam and made baal beareth their god and the children of israel remember not the lord their god who had delivered them out of the hands of all their enemies on every side neither showed they kindness to the house of jerubbaal namely gideon according to all the goodness which he had showed unto israel end of section number ten